Yes. I made sure to unmute everything this time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Heck yeah. You guys look like you're coming through. <laughs> Why are you I'm not, using a I'm not using a camera, and this is like the only picture I could think of when I was like... I don't, I don't have character art like you guys. So I just Very good. <laughs> Which one are you using? The Count from Sesame Street. Oh, very good. Party. <laughs> The best vampire, the most important vampire. Also, I'm going to be having dinner in the middle of this stream, and I didn't want to be eating. Same, but I always do that. I yeah, I about to say, like, yeah, Nick's always stopping for dinner. <laughs> That's I'm a treat. Not chose for dinner. I will say, Nick, Ooh. when we start recording the um, the like a po the the podcast version of whatever other game we play next, um, mm -hmm. you don't need to announce when you leave and when you come back. I'll just. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Because it's in this one, it's so jarring for me. Like I'll be like saying something, and you'd be like, "I'm back," and I'm like, "Oh shit, what the fuck was?" That? Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, that was really funny last time. I was re-listening to that, and you're like, "All right, I'm back," and it was like in the middle. <laughs> threw me, threw me out of my my rhythm entirely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, who wants to recount what happened last session, Violet? <laughs> Again, me? Does does someone else? Nobody else. You're the only to... one that remembers. Clearly, am I? Am I the only I one that remembers? Well, no, I remember, I remember most I, of us. I do the whole thing, so I feel like I get to get someone. I feel else like to Blue start. probably remembers really well what happened. Here's, last time. here's my cobblestone put together. Um, <laughs> Astrid broke my table. Yes. I got really mad about it. I got put in timeout. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we decided to go hunt down. Was it her sire, or did we get a lead? No, we uh, got a lead on um on Helen by then, in in the fun table breaking montage. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> we hit the town. She had another vision. Very cool. Very fun. Yeah, she, and she, she went off into the alley to have another vision. <laughs> into despite, the alley, despite what happened with the last vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just try it again. Why not? And it's you brave. Guys, you guys were watching, like, oh, she having another vision. I mean, she had heightened senses on at the time, so yeah, she could yeah. do a shit talking. Very good. Yeah, I um, that. um, 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 and then we went down to the docks or Did something along. No, alongside it. There's a ripper. That's like a dock. Yeah, well, close it's enough. A dock, yeah. yeah. There were some bad people. Astrid yeah, punched a guy so well, hard. His well, <laughs> we're going to assume he's they're bad because Astrid yeah. punched one of them so hard he died. Um, yeah. The other I sent off into the swamplands for a nice little swim. Yeah, he just and he just we we up the riverbank. Yeah. Yeah, wandering off, yeah. and uh, we pulled up a a, a girlie from in a box in the water. That's right. We, Perfect. It seems to be like our, our 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 mo now is stealing things out of if, boxes. If there's a person in a box, we want it. <laughs> is this the time when you come up with a name for your coterie that's related to like stealing boxes? The box boys. <laughs> the box boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an oddly specific. Um, uh, yeah, oddly we have a we have a Indian. brand. <laughs> yeah. Do you have? Is there boxes. a vampire in a box that you want? <laughs> we'll we'll get it. Um, yeah. <laughs> no box, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, you, and you found this box, and um, there were, a hand uh, came out of the box with a uh, familiar glove on it. Um, I have a new car. Oh yeah, and have you found the well, have you found the keys to to a to a, a car on that um on the guy that Astrid killed um one punch man yeah I still want to say technically not murder because there was no uh, no it wasn't malicious and, and, yeah it yeah. was it was a manslaughter well, it was malicious worst. it was manslaughter at worst yeah um for the rest of us it absolutely looked intentional. <laughs> Which is really funny, I found, because the player's guide came out and the Bruja variant, um, variant clan bane is basically you do aggravated damage unintentionally as part of your bane, <laughs> which I thought was very funny because basically 
Astrid was kind of acting out that bane. <laughs> yeah. Um, before we even knew that it existed. Um, on brand. Yeah. Okay, so you are you are on this dock. It's disused. It might have seen a lot of use in like maybe the the previous century, um, when they ship when they sort of move things up river on barges and things. But now it's just like a leftover, really. Um, the only thing, the only boats that really go up and down the Yarra now are like you know race rowing races and um, like booze crews, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and the box is here. I, I don't believe you've, I think you have opened it. No, no. Yeah. You smashed it. Basically you smashed holes in it. Um, yeah. Pretty sure yeah. cracked it open a little. Yeah. So, we don't the, like boxes. Yeah. We hate no. them. Um, although I remember, I do remember in the first episode, you, you wanted to keep the box that <laughs> came in. Like, but you, it wouldn't you, fit you, yeah, in the you, trunk. Yeah. You spent a, quite a bit of time, like considering how you could keep that box um <laughs> even though it's just like a big wooden box um yeah anyway no, i have a box on wheels oh yeah you did the car sorry i was like you didn't keep that box <laughs> <laughs> um okay uh i think astrid should get the first uh, first dibs on what she does being as she's the one that smashed open the box um, she's uh, on seeing the glove. She's just gonna try to pull uh, who she hopes is Helen out of the box. So I mean, there's like enough room for, to actually pull someone out. You'd need you can sort of get in there and pry away more of the waterlogged yeah. wood to make enough she's, space. So she'll it. she'll just do it like she's. You all just see she's just very frantic trying to open up more of the space. Um. Well. Javier and Archie are both away. Like, Archie took off when you punched that. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And yeah Archie and took off in Vista. Of so, yeah. Victoria, took off you're there? Are you there? Victoria's there. And um, Javier is okay. like, just finished dumping the body and I think went back okay. to the car, maybe? So, Victoria, that's what you see. You just see her frantically trying to open up this box. Yeah, well, my head is, like, shoved into the creek water, trying not to, like, breathe in the blood from the corpse. Oh, um, yes, because Victoria... Oh, right. Yeah, so you know, no one sees this. That's fine. So, yeah, Victoria, you are you are a hunger four, I believe. I am. You, um, there is... The blood on the ground is... Um, like, you, you're barely paying attention to what Astrid is doing, because the blood on the ground is... <laughs> swimming like up into your like obviously you are your your clan sort of tastes and your bearing prohibits you from like you know getting down and trying to scoop up blood off the ground but there are people Nick I'll just warn you that anything you type in the <laughs> roll 20 will show up on the screen I know so just, I was just, literally just, typing hello chat it's me yeah, Nick just, just, you? <laughs> Sorry, I thought I would just warn you in advance, just in case. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you're like your all you're thinking about is, um, f- food and feeding, mm-hmm. and it almost doesn't matter. Like the bane, like obviously the bane is there, but it almost doesn't matter. Like that would be an afterthought, almost. Yeah, yeah. It's very very enticing to just have a little sip. Yes. See. And not to mention, not, see. not to mention something that just sort of is in your in your mind right now. That in the box is a weakened kindred. Sure is. And I have some sip of that. <laughs> that's a. You know, your bane doesn't apply to kindred. Sure doesn't. <laughs> How tempting. Yes. Perhaps. Perhaps a hunger frenzy worth attempting. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. I, all right. Am I? I, I do hunger. Am frenzy. I that cruel? Why am I? Am I? Or have I just come into this new, just, this new, um, this new method of like Victoria has to frenzy every. every <laughs> yeah. It's not a real episode of Victoria doesn't frenzy. I'm, I'm not anymore. Uh, 
Well, All I mean, right, it's just how... like a little bit down the shore, I guess, because he just finished dumping the body and he can see Astrid and Box in hand, I think. It's, it'd only be a difficulty to Hunger Frenzy, if that helps. Are we still, is it just Resist Frenzy on this one? Uh, I believe so, yeah. yes. Yes, difficulty two, okay. Best of luck, Gally Pop. Look at you. you, yeah, you're good. You, Just. Yeah, so for the rest of this scene, you know, you have the beast in check. The beast sort of uncoils around whatever is, you know, awful thing is at the heart of you, but you push it back. You, The, the more human part of your uh, self manages to convince you that that's, that's, too much even for even for you <laughs> yeah it might be a little yeah even for even a for, little on the line even for regal, <laughs> regal victoria that's 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 a bit much uh, mm, mm. astrid i think you might be too fixate fixated on getting helen out of this crate uh yeah. to, to notice the victoria sitting there like the cartoon wolf with a and, and <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. Javier's looking around and being like, Archie, where the fuck are you? <laughs> well, yeah, why don't we do why don't we why don't we take a second to build up the tension a little bit and cut to Javier looking for Archie uh around the corner in the alleyway. Uh Archie, I'm serious, where the fuck are you? Um you will hear him very quietly say, I'm here. Like, sounds very sad. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, I've got a uh, job I need ah, you to shit. do. What One was second. that? I'm getting a phone call. We don't have those in the 80s. Yeah, you don't have a phone. <laughs> it's actually just Rathew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just like a phone call, but like... I saw... I think that I I kind of honestly think that we should look at those um, uh, variant. Clan Hi, sorry, banes. very poor timing. Yeah. <laughs> we look at those clan variant banes because I think that Archie would suit the the infested one where his whole his, <laughs> he just like anywhere that he stays for a, a, any length of time, rats just start showing. Up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, when he hears a quiet voice from somewhere, um, he's like, all right, Archie, I've got a very important uh, task for you. Okay. I don't know shit about Australian creatures. Is there anything big enough in that water with teeth that you can come get uh, to uh, maybe uh, have a snack? Uh, no, Archie. <laughs> There's no, there's, could. There's, there's no crocodiles in the in the area. I was gonna say I was gonna say there's a Ah no, if we're on the like if we're in the bay, then maybe I yeah. could get a shark, but not on the Yarrow. Yeah, the Yarrow's uh, a bit too a bit too far inland for anything. Yeah. But maybe it'll float right. out. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't I, I just I Archie would know that there's, you know. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that we were on the on the river and not on because yeah. uh Victoria and I did talk about this. Not Victoria. How about, uh, fucking Violet, I got confused because for me. Uh maybe Anything? could get a big dog. A little bigger than a medium sized dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I can I can try. Alright. Uh you try to do that, uh and you tell them that there's a dinner in the water. Um I need to. I don't know where you are. Uh, maybe by the car when you're done. Um, I will be staying invisible. <laughs> or are we? <laughs> Is this technically still the same scene? Yeah, but also I think if you if you're doing the stand still invisible, I think it breaks if you talk. Ah, uh, no, I was doing unseen passage. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's still technically the same scene. Okay. Um. I will use. I guess. Feral Whispers... Oh, I know. Feral Whispers is the one that... Or is, is it the same one? Yeah, what's the one that lets me summon them? Same one. Uh, oh, it is the same one? Oh, it is the same one. I just need to scroll down in the thing. Yep. So, can the I better use... you roll on this, the uh, the more, more you summon. 
Yeah. And if you crit, you summon everyone in the uh, every one of that <laughs> creature in the area. All right, can I do that, please, Cry? Um. Yeah. What are you summoning? All right. Uh, I will try and summon a large dog. But it's in the water. <laughs> I I'm just doing what Javier told me to. Okay. I am not questioning. Uh... Dogs still have them. Yeah, I know they can swim, uh, but they don't particularly... I don't think they hunt in the water. I don't know that that's there. Oh, whatever. You, you said dog, you haven't said it. Yeah. Don't roll for it. Yeah, so that's what... Just, that's what... <laughs> just, like, get, like, a Labrador Retriever. You'll be fine. Uh, okay, so... Need to remember. So, it's... Animalism plus Charisma. I, ah! I right-clicked it and opened up the Inspect Element menu. And that was weird. <laughs> So, yeah, charisma plus animalism roll. Difficulty depends on the scarcity of animals. It's summoned. a three because it's a, it's like a built-up area and you don't, yeah. people don't really keep large dogs in, like, apartments and stuff. I mean, they do, but not not in abundance. Javier doesn't know shit about Australian wildlife, <laughs> so... <laughs> Skills and... No, it's uh, attributes and then charisma. Uh... Roll, pool size, zero. Difficulty three, you said? Yep. Oop. Submit. Yeah, nothing shows up. No. Um, I'm sorry. With a big carpet python. <laughs> oh, <laughs> comically large snake. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of reach out uh, through this cobweb of, like, bloody connections that links you to the animals and more particularly the vermin but also like the you know the, the yeah the urban animals um but none of them heed the call um they're all they not like they're ignoring you just like maybe like just like you you couldn't be heard over like the overall chatter of the uh, mm -hmm. of the of the the evening um but <laughs> And yeah, you sort of pause to look around and there's nothing. Yeah, I say, I just say, um, actually no, uh, he said meet me by the car. Mm -hmm. I will slowly make my way towards the car. Okay, so we cut back to the dock and, um, Astrid, you've pulled enough of this wood away to see that inside of the box there is definitely a person. They're mostly bound up in, like, um, not cloth, like, 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 like tarpaulin, but like white tarpaulin. Uh, it's, it's, it's been like the, the hands have kind of managed to tear away and make their own way out, but they haven't really managed to scrape the rest of it away. So it's basically just this, this bundled up body with, uh, two like waterlogged, deathly pale hands, like clawed hands almost um sort of sticking out of it and you can now sort of pull them out of the the box if you so choose yeah so yep. uh pull whoever this is out of the box yep. and then just um i know like it's bound and stuff but like can she see a face or no but you could this probably like... very easily tear it away yeah um, so let's just start tearing at it uh, and beneath the cloth, it is Helen, but there, but, um, you probably have never seen Helen like this. Helen is waterlogged. There's no color in her face whatsoever. Her hair, you know, um, is, is, it's blonde, but like the kind of dirty blonde that happens when it doesn't get washed in a long stretch yeah. of time and is also soaked and like matted against her skin um and she sort of looks up at you but almost just starts just looks um right past you and she's just babbling there's if there's no there's no sense in what she's saying it's just incoherent gibberish like some of it's not even english it's just a it's just a mess of nothing. Uh, um, 
and she when she sort of realizes that she can see she starts like trying to tear the tear the tarp away sort of with your help and climb out of it but she doesn't go to move away she just kind of sits there on the dock just still mumbling and muttering um she'll just kind of like try to comfort her like it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right i got you sunshine um hey uh can can you hear me she says nothing she is she's just staring straight forward just muttering to herself under her breath talking to herself like about being like it's 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 dark it's wet it's cold it's dark it's wet it's cold Victoria, um, you you are familiar enough with like the condition of kindred to know that this isn't frenzy. Like you you know like you obviously know frenzy quite well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know that frenzy is rage, and there's never a sense of like freezing up and collapsing in on yourself. It's always it's always you know pushed out at the world around you. So whatever is happening, I mean, this is just something that you would know and I thought might occur to you, that this isn't mm-hmm. something that you, that you, this isn't a familiar situation uh, for a kindred. No, this is weird behaviour. Yeah, this is weird behaviour. Yeah. Um, I'll approach them both slowly, um, take off my jacket and like put it around Helen's shoulders Helen, to try like, and keep her. As you put the put the jacket over Helen's shoulders, uh, she's like scepter, the scepter, scepter, not the crown, not the crown, the scepter. Scepter. Um, <laughs> she doesn't seem to respond to you if you ask her questions or speak directly she, to okay. her. Okay. Uh, sure, just kind of go over to Victoria. What? Uh, she's not normally like this, um. (laughs) Well, you did just fish her out of a river. I'm sure she's just in shock. Um, let's, uh, let's take her back to the car and someplace dry and away from here as quickly as possible. Right. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Come on. Let's go. We, we got to move, okay? She goes with you sort of willingly. Like, you can sort of coax her along without a problem. But she doesn't really react to being spoken to or... And if you sort of stop, like, sort of gently kind of urging her along, she just stands still and does nothing. Except stand yeah. there and just talk to herself. Ash is just going to just say, like, reassuring things. If it's for Helen's benefit or her own or both, who knows? She sort of she turns slightly as you're speaking. She's like the she's like the rose wrapped wrapped in leather, rose wrapped in leather. <laughs> Sorry, that's me laughing out of character. <laughs> hmm. Where's Javier? <laughs> After he um, set uh, Archie. Off to his task, he was going to be kind of cautiously approaching with the the stake behind his back, just in case. (laughs) Yeah, so it's almost as soon as Javier kind of, like, hoves into view that she starts saying this. And she's not even really looking directly at him. She's just sort of saying it to no one. Everybody still got their wits about them? She kind of doesn't look at you, Javier, so much as looks through you. And it's like... Um, the scepter with the bloody, bloody fingers. Bloody fingers holding the scepter. He tilts his head and looks at Victoria, because I think he's the only one that knows about that. <laughs> she sh- shrugs. He he kind of um, he kind of mouths the word Malk at you with a questioning <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> there is an equally worried look sent back that probably confirms 
the same sort. Um, and where's her little friend gone? I would like to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, I was actually about to suggest that maybe, uh, uh, Astrid, maybe you take these keys and go with the new car, and, uh, you and I should probably take the old car and get you something to eat. The man with the, with the thousand little black eyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right, well, um, uh, we'll go to Archie's. Yeah, that's what I figured. You know, he's he found you, and that seemed to work out all right. So, uh, Archie, where are you? He's by the car, um, and Javier. Yeah, will I will appear his. again at this stage. She'll kind of like give him a sympathetic look. Sympathetic look. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm not making eye contact with anyone, but I will say to um Javier, I I couldn't summon anything. They they wouldn't come. Uh, that's fine. We'll figure this out later. I think we got a bit more pressing uh, matters to handle. There's blood in the water now. Blood in the water. Blue, 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 and blue and red lights. Blood in the water. <sighs> oh. Body in the trunk. <laughs> Take it to Archie's <laughs> for now. <laughs> Classic body in the trunk maneuver. We it's already it. a stolen <laughs> car. <laughs> All right. Let's, now, uh, speaking of uh, red and blue lights, mm -hmm. do you know what to do if you get stopped? Invisible. No. Well, no. maybe you. But... Uh, she knows what to do for <laughs> himself. I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll figure it out. All right. Uh, just, I don't know. Uh, and you're still kind of new at this. Uh, I will figure it out. All right. Uh, all right, I will. We will meet you back at Archie's. All right. Um, the blue I'll man. With, the blue um, man is also the green man. He gives Victoria another concerning look. <clears throat> Low profile. Stay inside. We'll be back as as soon as possible. I promise. Okay, just be careful. Of course. Same to you. I'll help Helen into the car. Yeah, she goes um, willingly. She seems to not struggle or have any issues. I'm guessing Archie's going with Astrid and Helen because it's to his place. Yes. Is Archie yeah. in the back? Is is Helen in the in the passenger seat or the back seat? Um, um, you, um, you can put her in the back seat with Archie and yeah. try and look after her. So that, in there's the back seat. not quite a. If this is in fact a Z, there's not really a trunk. <laughs> <laughs> the um, uh, but yeah. Roll? Oh. yeah, I mean, what was? Yeah, it's a yeah. It's, if there's no trunk, uh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's more like a hatch. Well, you have a car with a trunk. It's nowhere near here. We walked. Oh, you did. Yeah. You just carried the body <laughs> over your shoulder. No, um, don't do that. Don't do that. Well, um, it's Javier a course. Will, roll it up. Hang on. <laughs> Javier will take the sunglasses off the top of his head and hand them to Astrid. <laughs> She's got a jacket and sunglasses just weakened at Bernie's it. Okay. He's missing a jaw. Oh, you meant like the dude. Well, the dude's in the water, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. But he's like, he's, yeah. he's sort of, yeah, you could still recover him. I would say, I would well, say he's not completely could. gone yet. Uh -huh. You notice Javier's reluctance to actually go in the water to get the body that he threw in the water. Yeah, Ashley kind of stops. Can we just use the box? She's so smart. In a time of panic, put, put the body back in the box. Dump the box All back right. in the river. I'll go get it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, the box is only you're sort of partially broken, so you can kind of you can probably jam the body back into the box and then. Yeah, so it. she'll go grab the body. And Javier um, will be scooting Victoria away. So we just have this <laughs> mm -hmm. image of Astrid kind of wading up to her her waist in the in the Yarra River and like fetching a a mutilated body from the water, and just, like, <laughs> dragging it up to the docks. 
cramming it into this into this wooden box and then shoving the wooden box over the ledge and the, ch- the length of chain sort of unfurls uh, before it goes still and the splash kind of fades away. <laughs> then she's going to head back to the car, go. All right. Um, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Helen hasn't moved this whole time or even said anything at all um, since Ashford kind of walked away. So Archie, you've just kind of been sitting there next to yeah, I'm Perfectly just trying to make sure. Like, I do I let me check my skills real quick. I'm gonna say, do I have anything that would let me like check to see if there are like how hurt she is? No, my medicine is a uh, nil. No, also, Kindred, it's a, it's a different thing. Like, she could have a yeah, a hole in her head. Well, it I... wouldn't really be any worse than having like a scratch. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, yeah, you for what it's worth, you can't see any overt. Yeah, injuries. But the problem is, as a kindred, they don't bleed, so yeah, you wouldn't see them easily anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, you don't really see anything. Also, Javier handed off his sunglasses for Helen to use. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hel- Helen is Helen is wearing them, but seems to be oblivious to having them on. That's fine. Now she just looks like you know a drunk friend that we had to. Yeah. Fish She's out wearing of the, the river. glasses and Victoria's jacket. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. <laughs> and Javier's doing that thing where he's ushering Victoria away with like one arm over the shoulders, like power walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think he's just gonna pop Daunt so everyone steers clear. <laughs> yeah, well luckily you're sort of a bit far away from the main drag of things, so no one's really poking around down here or, looking, you know, really causing any trouble that you'd need to worry about them. But then it might be, might, still might be a good idea to get out of here while you can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just going to power walk to the, uh, the car, mean mugging anyone who even looks at us twice. Ah. Uh, so Javier and Victoria, as you're walking or power walking down the street, Javier, you might not have any problem sort of like putting your eyes down and just sort of like force, you know, force marching your way to the car. But Victoria, it's almost like you can see, you know, the tick of people, of you know, blood pulsing through every sort of exposed neck that you see on the street. Every kind of like... Every kind of smell is dulled except for like, you know, maybe someone got a paper cut at work and you can, it's like a shark sensing blood in the water from miles away. You can, you can smell that, but everything else kind of dulls in comparison. Like your, your hearing is, is muted almost except for the, the dull thud, which is like, you know, the, a bunch, several hearts kind of beating arrhythmically. The, your eyes sort of only really focus on uh, exposed skin where an artery might be. It's 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 tough. It's real tough. Yeah. And so it might be hard for you to sort of keep pace with Javier because you're constantly distracted. Fucking hungry. Mm-hmm. Fucking hungry. Um, yeah, I would be relying very heavily on him stopping me from veering off course, shall we say. You might like try yeah, to tug you... away several times, but Javi is strong enough to kind of be like, no no no. Yeah. He he's got that firm grip on your like opposing shoulder with his arm across like the back of your shoulders to make sure you don't veer. Mm-hmm. And just kind of really quietly, he's like, if I light a cigarette, will that help? No. No, not really. Alright. Just keep up pace. It's fine. Just... Ooh, any club will do. So while you guys search for a club, we'll cut back to Astrid, uh, Archie, and Helen in the the stolen Datsun that Javier has claimed by right of conquest. (laughs) <laughs> who 
who's driving? It's, it's um, Astrid, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Archie Astrid. can't drive. Yeah. Um, Archie's being very quiet, I will say. So is Helen. Helen stopped. Like, yeah. yeah. Helen stopped babbling and is just kind of sitting there now. Astrid uh, will eventually break the silence. You want to talk about it? I'm. It's okay. I, I know you didn't. I know you didn't mean it. it. It's okay. I didn't mean it, but I did it. I. It. I just got scared. I. I haven't seen you do that. Yeah, I. It's new to me. I'm scared but too. It, it's okay. We'll we'll make everything okay. Uh, Helen will be okay. We'll, she will, will be, be okay. How how far are we from uh, Archie's place? Because it's you like basically drive yeah, down along the river, um, and sort of pull off into it. Like it's not far. Mm -hmm. You know this area fairly yeah. well. This is probably like yeah, not far from. I there. imagine I'm giving yeah. directions as well. Yeah. Like, sorry, just got a very strange message from a friend out of context. Um, okay, uh, what, what are we gonna do? We're gonna wait till the others get back, and then we're gonna figure it out. Okay. But for now, we're just we're just gonna get hell uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. We're going to get Helen comfortable by taking her to a place that has the, literally has the floor creepy. <laughs> it's an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, true. It's not <laughs> a watery grave. Um, so I'm thinking uh, we'll get back. We'll wait till the others get back. And then maybe I'll go stop and grab, maybe grab some blood bags. <laughs> I need to eat two, actually. But one thing at a time, we'll... we'll... We need to make. Yeah. We need. We need to get there. We need to make sure she's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. It will be. It, 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 I'm. I'm sorry for running off. It's perfectly understandable reaction, Archie. Believe me, I would have loved to have run off, and I just, I didn't think, I didn't remember that I was that strong. It, it, Takes a while to get used to the, the everything you can do. Yeah. Um. So Helen's not saying anything right now, no. even though that uh, Ashton's like, talking. Yeah, she's not even like following the conversation, but look at it. She's just kind of like staring out the window mm -hmm. at like the lights and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I give her a rat for you to try and, like, hold and pet? See if that does anything. You can, but... Archie will do that. I don't think it'll... I, Nick, doesn't don't think it'll do anything, but uh, you Archie might. You don't know... Like... Like, you've also got to remember this is a, a hungry kindred here. Yeah, I was just waiting for her to be like, no! Like, I, like <laughs> if I was feeling particularly cruel, I wouldn't give you this warning. Like, I'm, it may not happen, but I'm just saying... If Archie would um, consider that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what Archie think about that? I mean, what, who's the last person that y'all fished out of a box? And what did they do to the rats? That's true, actually. <laughs> yep. No, not giving her a rat for you. Okay. <laughs> last time, yeah. <laughs> Okay, then I, I only Rathu right, forgot about that horror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she remains okay. silent. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else. When you guys kind of lapse into like silence, like you might have when you're sort of driving. Yeah. Um. After like a few minutes and you're kind of pulling down onto the service roads, the same roads that Victoria drove down to pick you up on that night you went to find Javier, um, she kind of 
looks she stops looking outside and looks directly at you Archie and she's oh. and you might not even notice she's looking at you at first until she says it's dark underground Archie um ha- don't take me under oh yeah no I I don't want to go on Astrid has said Astrid, 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 Astrid has said uh, I was just asking but if uh, Astrid did say Archie's name right yes so I was trying to figure out how freaked out. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I was just making sure that Archie wouldn't get freaked out by her saying his name. It's uh, dark underground. I don't want to go. Okay, okay. Well, we'll just wait outside. We won't go. We won't go down. Yeah, we can wait at the the entrance. It's and, dark and it's that's dark we'll... and it's wet. Wait, what time is it? Uh it's probably a little past midnight now. Okay, so we still got a couple, like a fair few hours before. And the old beast, uh, bef- the old beast hunts there, waits there, sleeps there. I look at Ash. Drinks the little me? things that drinks the little things that that seep down through the cracks. Sleeping, but like, sleeping, think, but hungry. I don't Always think that's me. So hungry. Uh, we can Waiting. we can figure that out later. He's been there. He's been there forever. He's been there. Hundred years, thousand years, ten thousand years. I don't know. He's always there. And he's well, in the, in the little don't worry, we're, we're we're not gonna take you down there. I promise. And he fo- and he follows the thread. He follows the thread all the way to Archie. Archie's on the end of the thread, dangling on the street. I just look at Ash- Astrid. I don't like this. I don't know. What... It's, it's fine. It's fine. Ar- Archie, think about this. She's been stuck in a box since. She got turned, probably. Just, just give her a little bit. Okay. Archie's dancing on the end of the string. Archie's dancing on the uh, end of the string. Um. There's power in. The so. Room. Are we at the end, like the yeah, storm you're, drain? You're just kind of pulling up now. Okay. This is his um. Mouth. This is his mouth. Archie, Archie lives if you want, if you want, you can go. If you want to go, you can yeah. go. I'll, I'll, I'll wait here. Oh. I I I will be back. I need to go find something to eat. Yep. Say, so, can I leave partially? Because can I leave? <laughs> <laughs> Proper response to a mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, could, yeah. First of all, because uh, fuck that noise, and second of all, yeah, I do need to go try find some food. Yeah, go get food. <laughs> Um, can I? It's animal can right to try and hunt something. Yeah. Oh, you meant food in the game. I thought you meant like go. Yeah, I meant in game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do also need food in real life, but uh, that's not ready yet. <laughs> um. I'll just say. Can I'll I go? What, yeah, I'll tell you what I'd say. With your like your hate, if you go into your haven. I would say, mm-hmm. you know, it's pretty simple to get the rats there to okay, cool. to fend yeah. off one one point of of hunger. I would say, yeah, that, I mean, that's so basically. I won't what make I was you go through the. I won't make you go through the, the rigmarole of rolling it. Um, but it's okay. So it, can just mark it, off it, a hunger. Like a, yeah, it's probably like a. I would say it's an hour of work though. So yeah. I mean, while you're doing that, we'd cut away. Astrid, are you going to just wait here for Archie, or are you going to go? Yeah, she's she's just gonna she's just gonna wait in the car. She's gonna get in the backseat with Helen. Yep. Considering that um Astrid was staying at Archie's for a bit, would there be any like blood bags or anything that she was drinking from there? Maybe I'm guessing but no. Probably be, be like I mean, yeah, there's no like she... power down there or anything. There's probably yeah, no, God no. It's yeah. probably she... they're probably spoiled by now. Yeah, she'd yeah, have to. She'd have to go. Um, she'd have to go to like the the mortuary where her stuff is. Uh, and grab um, some. Speaking of uh, food and real life, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> um, so Helen's like a bit more, a bit more uh, cognizant. It seems she's like yeah. Archie is dancing on the end of a string. Long, mm. long string. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. What, what What are you talking about? I don't know. It's okay. You don't have to know. I don't know. 
We're together again. That, that's what matters. I've missed you. Mm. What? What I, happened to you? I went in the box. In the dark. B b before that. <laughs> before the box. The green man is blue. That, that's... Yes, he was he was green, but he was blue. Do you are a green man, blue man? Do do I have any idea what she's talking about? Uh, I mean, not really. There's no. Yeah. You know, you 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 know. Yeah. Green, um, green man, like I don't know. There's no like. There's no like the little. You know, when it's, you know, on the cross, on the don't walk, don't walk thing is a little green man, but that's about all that springs to mind. Um, in the visions, have I seen uh, between uh, Fenris, the other man that Fenris was talking to in one of the visions, were any of them wearing, well, I guess with Fenris I wouldn't know because I'm seeing through his eyes. Yeah. Um, the other man that Fenris was talking to, not Mr. X, but the other one. The other um, one was a, he... He wasn't wearing. He wasn't green or wearing green. He was a very okay. a small guy, um, okay. like jockey sized um, yeah. guy. Um, but yeah, this the visions have all have never been particularly clear on what they're showing you. Gotcha. Um, she's just gonna be like, uh, I, I don't know what that means. Uh, do Neither do you I. know the? I don't, I don't know what they mean. It's okay. It's okay. It's just do you, there. Do you it's there. It's there. It's all in there. But but and they they're talking and everyone's talking. And they're talking in my voice, but not in my voice. They're talking in their own voices. Everyone has their own voice, but it's all the same voice. Ominous. Okay. <laughs> all right, but you you're still you, right? Like there's who's me. Who am I? Who are you? We're not the same. Helen. You're, we're you're Helen. Oh, we, we're, 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 we're creatures now. We are, but there's still some of us left. Maybe. Right? I don't know. No. What, I, parts, what parts What parts? survive? What parts don't? I, I don't know what's left of you, but there's a lot of me that cares about you. I am the ship of Theseus. Oh, you would quote that. Would I? I don't know. You would. Well, then that part is there. That's what matters to me. Can't you see the string that Archie is on? The long string? No, sweetie, it's I can't see the string. It's all the way down into the dirt. Deeper down than where, even where he lives. And all the blood pools and drips down through the cracks. And he takes them. So there's there, there, there's something down there? Yes. 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 Like a... Uh, like a vampire? Maybe. Is, is Archie in danger? You're all in danger. We're all in danger. Always in danger. Everyone's in danger. Yeah, that tracks. Um, Everyone but hey, wants you, to eat each you're... other. Until it's just the one big bloated tick left. The tick that ate everyone. Well, I'm definitely not at that point yet. Hopefully you're not at that point yet either. You, uh, speaking though of, you know, are, are you hungry? Yes. But not for, uh, not for bag. Not for bags. Uh, she kind of puzzles her eyes. What are you, uh, what are you hungry for? I don't know. I'll work it out. Okay, but you, can you wait until... Uh, some of the ones that are more experienced with this, I, I, I eat from bags. I, 
I, I wouldn't know how to help you get what you need. The bloody hands and the leather robes. Yes, those, them. I saw you, them. You said... They were there. They were there at the dock. Right. That. Those are the. the yeah. Yeah. Them. They're, they're going to be here, and they're they're a lot more experienced than me. Uh, they, they they've been helping me out a lot. They so is Archie. It, they don't know as much as they pretend to know. Oh, honey, that's just a secret everyone keeps. Every... I don't think any of us know what we're doing. Mm. Look, uh, as much as I, in my Victoria, yeah, that's a lot to go through. But this is a lot. Javier, obviously something's going on with him, but he's trying his best. We're all just trying our best. But they're... They're going to help. I, I want to believe that. I'm going to believe in them. And they're going to help. Okay. And if they don't, well, don't you worry none. I'm going to get you out of whatever we're in. Where will we go? I don't know. Well... I was thinking, you know, I, when I say this, I I really hoped you weren't like me. I, I was hoping you were still human. And I, I got a world, I had it all worked out. I was going to find you some way to get off this place, get you back home. But you're like me now. Maybe I'm like you. Not but hey, you know what that... But you know what that means? What does it mean? It just means you and I are we're gonna be around for a real long time. And I'm I'm gonna make sure you're gonna be okay. No matter what it takes. Hmm. And she kind of like that lucidity that was there kind of fades away and then she's sort of back to just kind of staring no 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 no, no. and that's I think that might be around the time yeah. that Archie finishes eating rats <clears throat> I will um get back in the car and say, just ask her how is she uh, whenever you come back in, you actually hear that she's like humming something, and then uh, mm -hmm. when you sit back in, she'll stop. We we talked for a little bit, but that's she's, good. I think she's, uh, I think she's just listening to the other voices now. Do we know what? So she's like, how Archie knows about the various clans and stuff, right? Yeah. And like I know, did did anyone talk to Astrid about maybe our suspicions of Alice? I think you all just kind of talked about it together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, go go ahead. Mm -hmm. One sec. <clears throat> There's a swollen food. Um. So she might be Malkavian then, like Alice. I guess. Maybe I, I thought maybe Frederick took her, but maybe Alice is her sire. Maybe that'd it's be possible. Bad, I think probably. <clears throat> but um, I mean, we knew we know that she's been doing stuff like turning people. Yeah, I think and. Friend Riss has been helping. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> well, I never really knew in the first place, but now I especially don't know what's going on. But Nosferatu admitting that. Like somewhere, yeah. you know, somewhere <laughs> Simone is rolling in her grave, even though she's alive. Well, <laughs> she's rolling in her co comically <laughs> oversized coffin yeah. that she sleeps in. Yes. Well, whatever is going on, <laughs> you're going to stop it. That's what we're going to do. 
I, I, maybe there are people that can help Malkavians with the voices. I, Alice seemed mostly uh, aware of things. Yeah, she just she needs just needs <laughs> time. She's she's strong. She'll if Alice can go about living somewhat normal life, fun life, whatever this is, she can do it. Right now we just now we just gotta we just gotta wait for them to come by and we'll see if they can't help her with getting something to eat. She she doesn't want the bags. Mm-hmm. I think we can cut to Javier and Victoria for a moment and see what they're up to, what they're doing. Uh, I like think Victoria had uh, her had her fancy meal that she was looking for. Did we did we find something and did she not make a mess? Um, I'm happy to roll for it. Yeah, well, I think you can roll for it because Archie like went to like basically went to like his version of a supermarket, but you're sort of out in the uh like in the in like hunting sort of. Mm. Can I? assist especially yeah. to keep her from like making a mess in bruja territory oh, i forgot because yeah. he's not really sure if we're supposed to be eating here you can assist, oh absolutely can not <laughs> yeah uh i would just yeah you found like a, a, a suitable club you found a what looks like a a businessman or a day trader and he's got like a he's got a uh a very noticeable tan line around his ring finger. <laughs> It'll work. That's the sort of thing. Um, you're, I'm going to say that's the sort of thing you're tr- you train yeah. yourself to look for. Oh yeah, I'm very good at noticing tan lines and like fingers that are just a bit like weirdly swollen, <laughs> which rings in general. <laughs> Are we having the reverse of session two, where Javier is like, "All right, which, which ones, which ones your brand?" <laughs> Basically, um, yeah, she'll spot someone mm. with a nice tan line and just be like, "Just a uh, bathroom, <laughs> bathroom. Keep an eye out, please. Thank you." And oh, she will got this little dance like down. Yeah, there. we <laughs> we've practiced. <laughs> we know the steps. Yeah. Um, and she will take this person into the bathroom as quickly as possible. And I'll give you an extra dice. Cow. I'll give you an extra dice. Um, uh, just by like a die, a dice for Javier helping, and then like a dice for like having rehearsed this sort of <laughs> this song and dance. But okay. get... Remember, you can only take two um, without causing two extra. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Two is two is better than um, nothing. <laughs> yeah, or you could lead, or you could take three and just lead this guy to potentially be, be unwell. I, I think Javier's well, keeping a close enough look to intervene if she seems like she's taking more. <laughs> so yeah, have have you <laughs> like standing there, like peering through a crack in the door of the the, the women's bathroom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a boy like, or like, anything. He just went. <laughs> Like also to the bathroom to make sure that everyone cleared out. Yeah. And then yeah. is probably just like had locked the door after those two went in and is just leaning against that door so no one can come in. That's fair, yeah. To take gonna... three. Yeah. What difficulty would you say that would be? It's a two. You know what you're doing. Two? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have Ah. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna I'm going to motherfucker apart. I'm going I'm going to (laughs) I'm going to re-roll that. Um just you know, fuck it at this point. The willpower? Are we yeah. gonna have to? Are we gonna have to like <laughs> hide more bodies? This is oh, going man. so on, bad. Don't you? You need. To, you can't re-roll hunger dice, so you need to get like a. Like I a would need to get yeah on that one dice. Yeah, 
No, uh, I've, I've he's got, got four she can re-roll. I've got four I could re-roll. Yeah, but aren't well, those three, red ones but... all hunger dice? The bottom ones are. The bottom yeah, the ones, top are ones are just oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is how okay. I find out they're not all red. <laughs> no. There you go, you're okay. Hey. <laughs> it's probably one of the things if you're really thinking about it and then Javier just knocks on the like stall. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, like, you're like, you're like watching and you've like for a, for a second you know that look is like Victoria's like, Yeah, her eyes go a little yeah, feral. Yeah, Victoria's like, I'm gonna uh, eat this whole guy. This whole ass like, dude. And you're like, no no no. <laughs> Stop that. Yeah. So yeah, well, he's like, mind okay. your manners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she will unceremoniously leave him there, dust her hands off as she exits the bathroom. And goes, her all right, let's hands. go deal with uh, yeah. Her gloved hands. Mm -hmm. She get, they're like tingling a little bit under there as they like just very slightly start to heal. And she's like, all right, let's go. Um, let's go deal with the real issue. <clears throat> all good. We're all good now. You, you got We're taking all... the edge off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, right off, darling. Let's let's go. Let's go deal with our new little friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys arranged where you you'd potentially meet after this? Or? Yeah, Archie's. Yeah, we said we'd okay. go back to okay, Archie's. Cool. So, yeah, I assumed it was going to be where Victoria picked us up on the first session. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. like we just little... have to look for a gaudy gold Datsun. <laughs> yeah, she can't be too hard outside of a storm drain. I'm gonna say when you pull up, um, Astrid and Archie are probably gonna be like near each other, but Helen is off like by the river, just kind of like like has like a long bull rush in one hand, just like tracing shapes in the water uh, but otherwise being quiet keeping to herself <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah Astra's not very far from her yeah oh she's not far away yeah she's within eye, eye line yeah before we get out of the car you just see Javier take a deep breath in and let it out <laughs> <laughs> like he's mentally preparing himself for this this will be interesting We'll have to watch what we say too. Uh, um, yes. When uh, when she sees them pull up, she's gonna get up and head over there. Well, <laughs> mind your manners, I... Javier. She must be sensitive right now, and we I all think... know you're the one that always slips up. <laughs> yep, that's definitely the case. Mm -hmm. And uh, Victoria will step out of the car and address Astrid and say, so any progress? Um, she she was talking for a little bit, but uh, she was uh, just kind of zoned out again. Um, uh, I don't know how seriously to take some of the things she's saying. And mm -hmm. uh, she kind of freaked out Archie a little bit. That, that tends to happen. Yeah. yeah, she said something. Said something about <laughs> threads and something about being something being deep down underground near the sewers and sleeping for about a thousand years. So, Javier's eyes go wide at that. <laughs> Y'all um, know what she's talking about. Not specifically, but. Uh... A good idea. I wouldn't assume anything of that caliber. And her gaze is slowly turning towards Javier, despite <laughs> him only have just arriving like five days ago. I don't assume anything of that caliber would be here. Is this okay? Is this something <laughs> I need to worry about? Is this what is this? Well, let's. Not panic. What exactly did she say? Uh, she'll recount to the best of her abilities everything that um, uh, Helen said. Um, so like the song thing, <laughs> uh, the way she referred to the two of you. 
Javier kind of snorts what his Malkavian nickname is. Oh, it's cute. It suits you. <laughs> Maybe I should put one on the back of the jacket. Ooh, yeah, a little embossing. Um, look, I... I wouldn't be too concerned over it now. She's alluding to... Oh, how do I even put this? Oh, look at me, uh, this is your area. It, thank you. Shall we say our great, 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 great vampire daddies? It's, look. That's me it's laughing, a, not Javier. <laughs> it's a lot. It's She's probably getting a few wires crossed. New Malks tend to be a bit fuzzy. I'm sure she's just very overwhelmed. So, just basically an older vampire. Yeah. A really, really old vampire. Kindred. Kindred. <laughs> now, now, now I'm laughing in character. <laughs> right. Sorry. Uh, no, it's alright. Uh, yes. She's different. Wow, different it's, from it's it's hard to remember yeah. the rules right now. I'm sorry. No, it's a it's all right. It's just us. We I I understand. I don't um, give a shit. Look, I, <laughs> look, um, there's something I I am in no position to ask this, but I'm wondering if you two could do me a favor. Of course. Um, she's hungry. Hungry. And, uh, she doesn't want the bags. I see. Oh, offered. Um, and I don't really. I no. Can't... Yeah. Don't worry. Uh. Don't want to give her a rat, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you offered a little scuttly friend instead? Uh, She's not taking that. I had to go eat myself. I haven't had a chance to offer her rats yet. <clears throat> It I, might be. Uh, it might we, be safer just until we know what her current condition is like. Not okay. to bring. Um, to to her credit, she said she doesn't really know what she wants. I don't. I don't think she's eaten. Mm. Or at least, uh, probably not from people. I, I don't know. Yes. I can't remember if you already said this, but I'm. Pr we're pretty sure she's Malkavian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Victoria and Javier are both just nodding, like smiling, like, yeah, bud. Uh -huh. <laughs> I would I would put money on that bet. Um so I'm going... this... oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I don't know how do not Malkavians normally hunt. Well, it's up to the individual, but they are, you know, any more specific than the rest of us. You're, you two are just odd. freaks. <laughs> Different taste. Um, but I would rather not bring a kind down here for her to freely feed on until we've at least monitored the situation a little more. It might be yeah, risky. Um... We've already dealt with one <laughs> corpse tonight. Right. Almost um, two. Let's say uh, Javier's being good. He's not going to say almost two. Thank yeah. you. Um, no, no. I, whatever y'all think is best. I y'all y'all know y'all know more than me in this case. Mm. Um. By the way, how 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 are things? Are you good? Oh, we're fine. Yeah, much better. Full stomach, all that. No more nagging. Uh, <laughs> Consuming thoughts. It's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> we have a more pressing issue to deal with. Archie, could you be a deer and summon some little friends? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Also, you're definitely, Vic Victoria, he definitely gave you the uh, silent, sarcastic, nice save look, but he's not <laughs> going to say anything. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a, uh, a two. Difficulty, yep. Archie, and and with a plus one uh, modifier because you've got because you're here in front of your 
rat fan. I do also have the animal can specialization in rats. I don't know if that helps at all. Uh, that gives yeah, you that's extra die. Yeah, that's a plus die. one. Yeah. Well, that's probably. I guess so. I have... That's probably a plus two. Then I would say. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so difficulty two, you said. Yep. Cool. Summon those rats. Yeah. There we go. Uh, two. Uh, nice. Uh, it doesn't take long for um rats to begin to. Basically, you hear nice. like a distant echoing squeaks, and then they they sort of like a moving car <laughs> yeah. kind of come out of the mouth of the stormwater drain, and begin to swarm around your your feet, uh, particularly around Archie How's because you're all near. What are you doing? <laughs> this just doesn't look appetizing. It's yeah. There's <laughs> just kind of like a mildly perturbed scowl on her face. Can I pick one up and start drinking from it as well? <laughs> Why not? Just have a. St- really this is in character. It's not really enough. Why to- not? <laughs> it's yeah. not really enough to cover a blood point, but you can certainly start. Um, yeah, you yeah, need I like a that. dozen of those. You guys, like, while you're kind of like looking down at the gathering, like, swarm of rats, um, Helen is just there all of a sudden, like, crouched next to Astrid, and she just. Like a hand just sort of darts out, grabs a rat from the, the like the little swarm, and just kind of twists its the top of its it's it's basically twists its head off, and throws it away, and drains it like a, like yeah, in a in a very shotguns. visceral yeah shotguns the rat, and then just keeps doing this. Oh, so, huh. It is, this it, is so uh, recognizable. Yeah, I'm getting oh, flashbacks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is this it's is adorable. For you. I'm gonna say this, <laughs> for, this. This is probably something that offends your Toreador senses. I I think he might actually elbow Victoria for that comment. <laughs> He's like, oh, shut it. <laughs> your bane is uh, in effect at the moment, Javier, because this is awful. This is uh this 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 this. Does not bring joy. No, no. he's gonna look at Astrid and be like, "Car keys." <laughs> she, uh, she is pointedly not looking at this, and she'll just kind of hand you the car keys. He's just gonna take her by the shoulder and go back to the car. While she's doing Pop it, in a she's cassette. like humming to herself, and she's like, "Archie's thousand little black eyes." Yep, yeah, he's from the shadows. He, he's just going to take Astrid uh, to the car. He's going to pop in a cassette. And we're just going to tune this out. Right. <laughs> the buggles. Aunt Mouth's fun. Does, so, Victoria, Victoria, did you go back to the car? Or are you just. No, she's there just watching this. It's, if other people eat rats, that's fine. As long as she doesn't yeah. have to eat the rats. And I'm assuming Archie yeah. is like there saying a, a soft prayer for every rat that gets. <laughs> no, no, oh, Victoria, no. you've got to, you've got to wipe Rathu's mind again. Oh no, you don't look, Rathu. Don't look. <laughs> yeah, Archie's covering Rathu's eyes. <laughs> if anything, Victoria, even if she was like, "That's really gross," is more like, "I should keep an eye on this one so it doesn't get <laughs> too <laughs> aggressive." It's, it's like twenty minutes of this, um, and by the end of it, like. Her whole face is just smeared with uh, blood. Uh, I and see. her fangs are, are still feeling... off and she hasn't bothered to like pull them away. Are you feeling better? Archie. You dance on the end of a string. Yeah, so you keep saying. I don't know what that means. We all do, Helen. (laughs) About the end of Archie's string is closer. Oh, I see. Do you? Can you help me out here? (laughs) She's like, you don't see. You don't see anything. Oh. You don't hear. Well, that's. You don't hear the voice. All oh, the I don't hear are the my voice. voices, but then they're not my voices. So no, my brother, they're my not. My brother's your voice, voice and my sister's voice. 
Archie. Uh, Astrid. Archie. Yeah. You're dancing Hi. on the end of a string. <laughs> I'm so glad Harvey you're checked out of this. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. I'm done. Um, with seeing the rats. that. Seeing that she's done with the rats, like and yeah, from you can see her show. like talking yeah. to, to, and you can see Archie like getting progressively. More, like, yeah, Ashley will. Uh, Ashley will get out of the car. Um, kind of give Javier like a grateful look before she leaves, and then she'll go. Yeah, and we can probably cover this later. But at one point, he did mention, "Be careful what you say to her. Her entire clan can hear it." She'll just kind of nod. Um, but she'll head over. And <laughs> seeing that she's all smeared with blood, she's gonna start to just clean that up. She, she doesn't, yeah. like, fight you, but she doesn't seem to particularly help you do it either. That's that's fine. As long as she's also, not, like, fighting me off. It's like, also, Javier definitely stole that pack of cigarettes out of the car. This, yeah, and there's all, like, broken rat carcasses just, like, littering the ground. And is Rathu visible at the moment, Archie? Yeah. She just heard, She's, like, while Astrid's cleaning her, she's just staring at Rathu. No. <laughs> this one is a friend. Uh, you reckon she's still oh. hungry? Uh, are and are you still hungry? There's like a growl, like in the pit of her chest. That's like distinctly kindred, not human. Like it's almost like a human couldn't make that sound. Mm. It sounds like the way Javier growled at you <laughs> at the first night. Mm. When when Astrid asks if she's still hungry, she just says no. And she sort of turns okay. her attention away. Okay. Good. So, just some ground rules. Not Rathian. He's watching through those eyes. Uh, are you, are you, you talking friend, about the... You see a friend, but I see the, the mouth, the maw. All it wants are to you... do is consume... <laughs> Victoria's say, highly amused by all this. I, she's smiling. I say to Rafi, do you know what she's talking about? Matthew just bites you. But like in that in hey. a nice way. Like the way uh, he does. Oh, uh, okay. It's still her. I, I, I give him a little bit. I give him a little scratch. <laughs> yeah. Well, whoever's looking through Rathew, I'm sure they are enjoying the show. Because believe me, it has been a rodeo. Not Rathew. Not Rathew. She shakes her head with like a little like knowing smile, like <laughs> and she's still got like her like her fangs are still out. Um this whole time. Like she's got she's making no effort. She's not make she's not doing the, the things that you guys do where you kinda like make the well, you don't really have to do it, Astrid, you just do it naturally, like make the blood kind of pump through you and make you look alive. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. and Javier and Victoria kind of do that on occasion, um, as well. Um, but she's not doing it. Like, she's just like, there's no, like, visible pulse. Her eyes are kind of glazed. They don't have that glossy look that living eyes do. That's what the sunglasses are for. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Helen, could you, could you maybe do something about the teeth? That's okay. Oh, she kind no, of, she um, knows how. She kind of, like, sighs, and they retract, like, well, not retract, but you know how they just kind of, yeah, they, they retract in, in back into her gums, and she just kind of, but she doesn't, she doesn't make any effort to get blood pumping or anything. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just in case, you know, someone walks up. Um, Who walks up here? Uh, I don't know. Just... Anyone, I guess. It's not like this is private property. Um, so I guess now that you know everyone's fed, uh, what do we do Except now? Except for you, I imagine. I I I can go get something later. I I can I can I can actually go in a little bit here and just come back. But um, she uh she doesn't want to go down. So, nah. why do you want to drink from bag? 
you don't what? hear the stories. You don't hear. You don't see. You don't. You don't taste what's happening. I, the rats don't really don't. tell me much, but they tell. They told me enough about Archie's string. I'm going to um, say very quietly to Victoria, I think she's just saying things. I don't think any of this actually means anything. Uh, Victoria will lean back and go, 50-50. Okay. <laughs> uh, words written in red. It's just, per it's just a personal preference, Helen. I, I just, I'd rather not. It's not like the blood really tells me anything anyways. I suppose. I'll have your share. <laughs> um, all right. So I, I, I thinking about it, I should probably should go get something to eat. Um, but I'd have to go back to you know. Um, you could get to the. You could easily get to the city from here. It's basically yeah. you could just walk up an embankment and you'd be there. Should um, I just come back here or? I mean, I, um, I could try taking her with me, I guess, but... No, 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 no. Maybe um, we uh, take her to the warehouse? Oh, we do have that. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah. Unless you want to take her to your home. No. <laughs> <laughs> no the warehouse um, is just... Uh, the warehouse is just very close to... The warehouse. The warehouse the is fine. The cat. The cat's in the way. The cat. Oh, that, right now? I understood. You, right now? Did you? Right. Actually... right. Oh, boy. You keep saying my name. It's your name. Talking to you. You should no, respond I... when spoken to. I, I, yes, I think you were talking about the sheriff. <laughs> I say to her, not making eye contact. She very much scares Archie. <laughs> She just kind of yawns and says, I don't know who that is. Uh, the cat. The, the cat is at the warehouse right now? That's what they're saying. That's what... That's what they're saying. So you well, got friends nearby. I don't know. Or, that's what I they're saying. she always has friends nearby. Yeah. She kind of like... She seems away. like agitated when you sort of follow up questions. She's like, that's, that's just what they say. All right. Oh, we'll what? we'll take it to the to the warehouse after you get back, Astrid. It if what she says is if what they say is correct. Pardon me. You might want to be there to explain the situation a little more. All right. Okay. okay. Okay, I'll I'll be back. Okay. Um, I won't make you other... roll if yeah. you want to just recover one point of hunger. Yeah, um, I'll just, just take back. Yeah, but it just would be take like it it'd take you maybe like you know forty minutes to go there and come back. Yeah. So by now we're sort of pushing, pushing two a.m. Mm -hmm. oh. And once Astrid's gone, Helen just kind of stops offering up nuggets of wisdom and just kind of goes back down to the river to trace shapes in the water. Uh, do you like music? I can't hear it. Oh. I was, I was kind of hoping that maybe the music would help you not hear everything but she sort of like laughs like or they sort of laugh in a sort of like they just kind of seem like complete like like you know have like what a silly thing to say that like it doesn't work that way yeah or the shot Do you remember the people you were with before us? Astrid? After Astrid, or before Astrid? 
depending. Between Astrid and Astrid. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just the the green man who is blue. The green man who is blue. Love a riddle. How are you doing, Archie? You hanging in there? <laughs> Archie's green just like man. At the entrance of the um, storm drain, playing with rat view, I think he's very actively trying to not pay attention. <laughs> hey, uh, wasn't there a guy in green at the port? And there sure was. That's the only green man I can think of. Oh no, she means Piccolo from Dragon Ball. Oh, she means Piccolo from Dragon Ball. That's an anime that's not even out yet. Wrecked Archie. It's, it's fine. I told Archie about it. I told him. That wasn't Archie. a character. No, I told Archie about <laughs> exactly it with a premonition. Yeah, she's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's Piccolo. Fucking, how fucking dense are you? <laughs> yeah, these guys. And then she does a Kamehameha and kills Archie at the end. Because he wears green. No, she I mean, he is green. Archie I mean, he wears spoils blue. Star Wars for him. Yeah. <laughs> Archie frenzies. <laughs> um. All right. Do you at least feel any better now that you've eaten and settled down a little bit? The the wolf is asleep. If that helps. Sleep. No, not really. But thank you. <laughs> Aren't you scared, Victoria? Of what? What's happening out to the west? There's a lot of things happening out to the west. She like thinks about it for a second, and then she like crouches down on the riverbank. And she starts just rubbing, like, the mud onto one hand. And then she sort of... <laughs> um, is Victoria wearing the white, um, like she has in her... Yeah, like a nice yeah. white cashmere. Yeah. And she just Don't plants her hand Don't on the it. white and leaves a, like, a blackish-brown handprint behind. Mm. And it's like... It's like, that... Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm not thrilled by it. You know more about them than they do. I wish I didn't. Mm. I wish I could listen to Javier's music. <laughs> <laughs> And I wish I could get mud out of cashmere, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, give me a shot at it. I might be able to get it out. <sighs> Broken sweater. Broken table. There's a lot of things broken right now. All we can do is try to fix them. Broken mirror. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to one. <laughs> Sorry, me again, laughing, not Tavi. <laughs> when was the last time you spoke to the next not along on your stream, Victoria? The the next not the next along on my stream? You're the not on the stream. Oh. And then there's the oh. on the stream. Oh. You mean, oh. Um. Javier seems very intrigued by this now, so he just kind of sits there amused and waits to see what she <laughs> said. <laughs> we talk. That's good. You should always Recently. Talk. I Recently. try to keep in touch. Recently enough. How recently is recently? A few nights? I haven't been gone that long. What changes? 
Mm hmm. Do you worry that you'd be replaced? Javier no longer looks amused. Victoria gonna start. Victoria gonna join Archie in a uh, moping. <laughs> yeah. Astrid comes back and all, all three of them are just moping in there. <laughs> Bold of you to assume you can make Javier feel worse about himself. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah. yeah um, I was just, I was, they're still talking to Victoria. Victoria, or is Victoria just not going to answer that? I, mm, Victoria looks very both offended and affronted by such a remark. Mm. But she, like, schools herself back into, you know, a more reasonable expression and goes, no, not at all. I'm very hard to replace. And Helen seems to, like, accept that. Says, well, that's good, but it does happen. Yes, it it does. Mm. And she's just tracing shapes again. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, he was definitely just looking at her with uh, a bit of sympathy and just like. Also, there's that, you can see that, that little bit of worry behind his eyes that something's going to make her snap again. <laughs> so he's like studying her almost for any signs that she might go on a furniture breaking spree again or a <laughs> Helen breaking spree. You don't need to look so worried. I won't let the words of a, well, their kind get to me. So he'll be like, all right. <laughs> I'll give. And then he's kind of thinking Sorry. to himself, uh, and then kind of looks at uh, Helen. Now, Helen has had an American accent this whole time, right? You're just not yeah, voicing yeah, one? I'm just not doing the Texan accent because I, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I think it would take away from like what, what they're saying. If I was oh, you like, can do some real creepy southern accents. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, yeah. Don't know, I don't know that I can, so I'm just yeah. not, not doing one. So he's yeah. like, you're from the States, right? Mm-hmm. Any of your uh, friends from the States? Astrid? Besides Astrid, like, your, your new friends. I've been in a box. I mean, yeah, but, you know. It doesn't... There's... N nobody's introducing themselves, Javier. It's just... Talking. Well, I guess you, uh... And half of it is nonsense. Yeah. I've just been trying to get a hold of someone back home, that's all. Who? Oh. I know. <laughs> you I do. I, maybe. You heard anything? It's another green man. The far away. Not the same. An actual mm. green man. A green man who's not blue. Yeah, just a regular green man. You can see Javier, like, trying to puzzle out what she might mean, especially considering the full name of the person he's trying to get a hold of. Just just green green, right? Not emerald green? That's a kind of green.
They're fine. I think they're fine. That's what I'm hearing. But I don't even know if we're talking about the same person. Well, uh... I'm afraid it's not a crystal ball. Or, or it's the a photo crystal help? ball with shit smeared all over it, baby. Yeah, photo? it sounds no, about right, but I don't think it photo would. wouldn't help. I'm afraid not. Have you tried calling them on the phone? <laughs> I've certainly made the attempt. You, I can get you a. They've, they've got, they've got like a yellow pages. It'll have the international directory. I know that much. I haven't been in the box that long. Have I? How long was I in there? I uh, I couldn't rightly tell you. It's an excellent question, Archie. I was in a. I was in a box I, five days ago. I, I look over. <laughs> Archie, how long was I in the box? Probably about a week. Thank you, Archie. <laughs> I was in the box getting out of character week. laughing. I was in the box for a week. Mm. So yes, you could call overseas. Why don't you do that? Well, it's a lot, it's a lot more accurate find... than me. I guess I'd have to find a phone. Victoria's pointedly looking off somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> you know, one that can make calls like that. Mm -hmm. I almost had one. Um, but I'm pretty sure that one just packed up and went to Italy. Yes. You hate when they do that. <laughs> yeah, it happened to my uh, phone once. Yeah, just, you know, they just walk off sometimes. Child of death. He's gone. Yeah, so I guess until we can solve the phone problem, I'm, you know, shit smeared crystal balls best I got. Well, if I see anything or hear anything that I think will help, I'll tell you. I'd appreciate that. Or I might not. Astrid speaks pretty highly of you, so, you know. Astrid's very nice. I like her. She is. I don't think Astrid will like what I am now. Probably not. I think she had other plans for you. Well. But, you know, go ahead. Well, you know, plans. They always fall through. Mm -hmm. That doesn't seem like something you should, or you you would believe, Victoria. <laughs> well, the past few days have been <laughs> challenging. Sometimes you just gotta lay the tracks down as you're traveling on them. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well. Astrid's here. And then that's when Astrid is returning <laughs> from, returning from uh, getting uh, her blood bag. Astrid, you see Archie, like, sulking. And Javier and Victoria are like... I would say they almost look like two kids that have found, like, a dead bird and are just poking it with sticks. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's as long as they're not actually no, working but it's, like, it's, it's like it's like the social equivalent of doing that yeah <laughs> like morbid curiosity yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but she'll she'll get out and she'll come back over all right i'm back your friend seems nice javier thinks i'm a telephone <laughs> um well you're not but uh <laughs> okay i don't know why yeah i think you're more like a walkie talkie <laughs> I was going to say for... a cuff with string. Yeah, I but like... I was the one that was on string, Archie. Yeah. <laughs> You're all on We're string. all on string right now, Archie. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say like a walkie-talkie where everybody's on the same frequency. Mm. Very noisy. 
Mm-hmm. I can only imagine. You should hear what they say about you, Victoria. <laughs> Maybe we don't need to. And then she, then oh, she people like, talk about me all the time. Then she like smiles in like it's it's vaguely familiar, Astrid, but it's like a smile, but without like any of like the warmth and stuff yeah. she used to. And she's like, "I'm kidding." Yeah, no, I'm used to people. people. Maybe they don't talk about you at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be worse. Well. If they really knew you, then they'd be talking about how nice you are. Well, if you ever miss hearing someone talk shit about you, just let me know. Oh, that's so <laughs> gross, the both of you. Ew. <laughs> how sweet. But, uh, but really, uh, everyone, thank you for helping that's out. It's okay. Well, Where you we... do now owe me dry cleaning, and she mostens to the casual oh, yeah. shirt I'm with, just the, big, with the big handprint. <laughs> Victoria, you give me long enough, I'll be able, I'll be able to do a new damn table or something. Just... <laughs> I jest, my friend. Let's. I know. I let's just... get her yeah. to the warehouse. Yeah, and we'll take it from there. Let's go. Because dry cleaning would imply you wear the same thing more than once. Kashmir, <laughs> you wear Kashmir in, not that you would know. Well, of course, I don't know. He would know all about to wearing stuff sometime. in. Like everything he wears needs to be worn in. Yes, but it's not like he knows anything about Kashmir. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I might know something about Kashmir. About Kashmir. <laughs> I can't wait for the episode where Javier like gets all like, like default stereotypical like, Toreador and is like wearing like <laughs> it's like a rom-com style makeover yeah yeah yeah. it just keeps coming out of the out of the change rooms and everyone's like <laughs> I was gonna say he might know about cashmere he has that specialty in sewing and embroidery that's true, wow. that's true. <laughs> um so he, he had a mom once <laughs> <laughs> he had a mom who went to church all the time Mm, yeah, that's prime cashmere territory. <laughs> Please, no one that wears cashmere goes to church. No. <laughs> it's a sinful fabric. <laughs> yeah. I mean, have you seen a Catholic church? No. Sadly, many. Again. Also say, I know Nick has. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where All right. Yep. Yeah, it's, um, it's around, uh, oh yeah, it's about 2.30 now, after Astrid's done the... Astrid, do you want me to drive? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. I'll just, I'll sit in the back seat. Alright, I'll, I'll take the kids and I'll meet you there, and he just kind of, like, winks at Victoria. Alright, Archie, I suppose oh. you get shotgun, and she'll take the towels out of the back of the seat and... Like, well, maybe you have there's enough them. space to take Archie too. You can have the car to yourself. That's what he was implying. <laughs> oh no! No, she, she'll she offer wants to, Archie to be in the car with it. Yeah, oh, no, sorry, she'll she offer wanted... to... <laughs> no, she'll offer to take Archie just to give him like a break from the milk talk. <laughs> yeah. Also, like I think she can she can tell. You're driving around the territory <laughs> where you first met, um, uh, Mister Mister Ten. So maybe oh, having really? Archie with you is just a, is just like a if, if we get attacked, I'll throw Archie at him and run away. I'll toss him out <laughs> first. Yeah, you're right. I'll throw Archie He's at him eight. and what? Archie goes invisible. Yeah, <laughs> Shit. <Archie. laughs> we'll toss Rathew out first, yeah. and then Archie will go after Rathew, yeah. and then I'll drive away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you're all you're all driving. Um, while we're driving, let's have a let's have a two minute break. I'll run a quick two minute ad because okay. then we can all get drinks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Maybe Javier should take Archie and you should take the ones the other two. I'm just hitting the ad now. We can still talk because people can still see. Yeah. It. yeah. That's a just just, yeah. just, just pass this around. Everyone just gets to pass this around. <laughs> <laughs> we all got to balance out the new Malk crazy. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know if Archie's like met a Malk that's done this before. <laughs> Mm. Probably not. Time. Yeah. yeah. 
I feel like there's two clans specifically that Riley has taught Javier about, and that would be Ventru and Melk. And that is to avoid them both. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. I feel like Riley's one of those people that doesn't like people knowing her secrets. <laughs> this is great, though. <laughs> I love a milk. I had to change my relationship map. <laughs> Woot. All right, yeah, I should probably add. Oh, we're on break. That's fine. Yeah. We'll 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 get in the shitty Datsun, the shitty gold Datsun, and we'll pop in a tape and Well, Helen won't be able to hear it, but Astrid will. So Yeah. Ash was just going to try to keep on keeping on. I will say, sir, thank you for letting me take a, like an important character from your character story and like fuck with them. Oh, yeah. Malking her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I knew what I was doing when I wrote, I, I knew what I was doing when I wrote the backstory. So mm. I was like, I'm like, this could end up terrible. Like nobody's important backstory characters are going to become like are going to get away scot free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the only ones that are like reasonably Aww. safe are Javier's because they're in another country in another country. <laughs> <laughs> even, oh, no. then, even then, Javier's very worried about M right now. <laughs> I was gonna say just just wait for our uh, our like our holiday season OVA when we go to America. <laughs> The whole thing about having you Look, guys go to America for like a se for like an episode is you wouldn't come back. I don't think you would come back. <laughs> <laughs> we die we go, over, we go over there and then everyone's just like, oh well, time to go out separate ways, I guess. And that's our grand series finale. <laughs> yeah, everyone just like parts amicably. <laughs> yeah, we 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 show up back at the states and Javier immediately disappears because we it did, hasn't been long enough. <laughs> we we defeat a evil. I wouldn't say the evil, but we defeat a evil. Yeah, we can go fight my evil ex girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, let, there we go. That, <laughs> that's the holiday OVA. We go kill Riley. <laughs> I mean, it would break his blood bond. Yeah. <laughs> Murder no, is no, 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 it's the movie. Problem. It's the movie. Holiday special, let's go kill Riley. <laughs> how would how would Archie feel if he found out that they dragged him like to which is a traumatic experience for a vampire who's traveling overseas. But you saw what you saw how Javier did it. Doesn't sound doesn't seem fun. No. <laughs> well, Victoria probably has like a jet. Yeah. But still. Or her sire might. Um and cool. then like like, imagine getting dragged across there and then you find out it's to kill someone. And she's like, God damn it. <laughs> she would be uh, very unhappy. No, 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 it's fine. We'll drop Archie off with M. They'll make great friends. <laughs> They're basically the same person, but yeah, like a one's a Toriador and one's a Nosferatu. Has to do a bunch of cutaway scenes of them, like, just like building sandcastles or something while you guys you can, you can, you can playing meet with each other. Uh, you, you can meet his family. So Y'all get along yeah. great. You both only eat from animals. It's fine. <laughs> What's his one? Hmm? Coyote, what? if I remember right. Yeah, coyote. <laughs> Might just try and eat rat food. The easiest to find <laughs> animal in the entirety of the United States. <laughs> Okay. I can't wait for the day that I actually have to uh, use that call every coyote in the area for that other thing. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking everywhere. Okay. So you are you you've gone to the to the warehouse. Um and you arrive there uh, reasonably without incident. Uh, who who we think will get there first? Who's the the speed demon? Um, I feel like Victoria. I feel like I have a shitty car yeah, that probably car is isn't tuned up. So yeah, I, so I'd say <laughs> yeah. Um, I say yeah, Victoria, you get there first, um, and you've got Archie in the car with you. But just because I, I I feel like stroking Victoria's ego will be beneficial for us tonight, he will definitely rev the engine at her. 
<laughs> oh, we do, we do a little drag? Okay, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I'll go get my least... dress. <laughs> Victoria has There's a at least one and just drives the car off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine her being like, in that shitty thing? Really? Oh, <laughs> please. Please. And then probably realize he's just being facetious. Yeah, she flips him off out the window. But it's, <laughs> it's good natured. Yeah, yeah, it's good natured. <laughs> friendly bird. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you arrive, you see a familiar black car, which was here the last time you visited the warehouse. Yep. Um, that you recall belongs to the sheriff. Uh, and it's parked and the lights are off. Uh, you can't really tell from the tint if there's anyone in there. But you see that as you pull up into the, that uh, parking area. I would say I could keep the car running in case we need to get the hell out of Dodge, but I don't think we can outrun her. No. Just gonna face the music. <sighs> you you are aware of what tends to happen to unsanctioned embraces? Well, I mean, we're here now, and besides, she's a witness. Yeah. They have us working a case. Yeah, just besides, bring in an unsanctioned prob- embrace to the sheriff. What would you <laughs> suggest? We we came here. If there was an ob- if there was going to be an objection, I would think it. I would think it would have been sooner. Yeah, I'll just... Besides, what's going to happen to all of us if we keep her hidden and they find out? I'm just saying, if you end up needing to cut and run, let me know. Yeah. All right, uh, Helen, I'll be back. Mm-hmm. I'll wait here. I'll get out of the car and head into the warehouse. Anyone else in the crew coming, or is it just me? If Victoria and Archie arrived there first, I would assume she's already parked her car and is meandering yeah. inside, just like keeping an eye out for a little panther or yeah. a big <laughs> sheriff. God, I, I really just want to have the panther just like, like just pounce on Victoria from like <laughs> out of nowhere. It's like, <laughs> just really fuck her up a bit more tonight. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, I, I, I would laugh more if it just lands on Javier's car. <laughs> you didn't have that last time I saw you. So as you sort of uh, get to the the doorway into the warehouse, the the car door um, to the sheriff's car, the rear door opens, and the sheriff kind of steps out, uh, dressed all in black, as usual, uh, her hair done up in a very severe, like, bun. I lock the doors. <laughs> um, so, as I'm heading, sorry, just to make sure, as I'm heading in, she gets out of her car? Yes, so, like, okay. she gets out, like, as Victoria passes, and then you're quite, like, mm. she's between you and Victoria and Archie. Oh. Okay. Give her a nod. Astrid? Sheriff? I'm kind of surprised uh, to see you back here. You've kind of been, you haven't really been down here since it was given to you. Nope. Uh, that, uh, it's kind of our spot, so to speak. Hmm. Yeah, well, I kind of have need for it. What's the need? Well, uh, we've been working on your case, and... Uh, I think we found a witness to, that might be able to help us figure out what's going on. What kind of witness? Pretty sure another another person that was made like me. Clanless? Well, you're not clanless. We know well, who's responsible no, she, for you. Well, she's got a clan. Um, Malkavian. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> You've never heard her laugh or even show any kind of amusement. Oh, I don't like this. It's like, I'm just like, watching from like a crack in the tented window. <laughs> that is. How did you? How did you come across uh, this this Malkavian? I was looking for, and um, you're looking for a Malkavian. Why? 
because she's she was my friend from a pre from previous life. Oh. Yeah, I was hoping to. I was kind of hoping she was still, you know, time. Don't um, if it's all Astrid. I'm not one for showing sympathies. That's not really who I am. I'm not. But, don't uh, worry, I'm not asking for sympathies. I don't. Yes, and I don't intend to give any, but. Don't expect the person that you knew to be there. I'm not sure what your friends have told you about the Malkavians, but you see, well, she sort of gestures at Archie and you see, she says, you see the curse that Archie wears on the outside. Shanad. Your friend wears that on the inside. That may be so. But... I'm not saying you can't be friends with them, Astrid. I'm just saying you need to be be mindful of what has happened here. Every embrace is a tragedy in its own way, but none more so than the Malkavian. Not again. I appreciate the words. Puts things into perspective. Believe me, I I sympathize with you more than you may understand. Well, uh, Sheriff, my my own personal feelings aside, and as you can guess, I do have personal feelings about this matter. I do believe she can help us figure out what exactly is going on. Yes, I'm. I don't doubt it. If she's if she was changed this way, then she may may well know who's responsible obviously so, i've already concluded that your embrace was not part of this rash of uh, creations uh taking place you were more of a for lack of a better word a show of spite that I suppose. my that his grace cannot actively object to because of politics. Of course, and I will remember the, our grace's generosity in the matter. Yes, you should. Um, your friend, though, has not been extended that courtesy. However, that isn't to say I'm not making death threats here. I It's important to me that you understand that I don't want you to disappear into the woodwork. She nods and it's important to me that you know what's going on. She told us she'd be here. I appreciate that you came then because the obvious solution would have been to uh, turn tail have you brought your friend with you or are you have you left them somewhere else for safekeeping uh, she's here with me now would you like to speak with her i don't think that would do much good a newly created melkavian mm. is not the most lucid but i will leave her in your recognizance for now but Thank tell you. me, what has she, how has she said anything uh, that you think might be important? Uh, she, so far, things have been hard to decipher. She's been going off about something sleeping in the underground. But, um... Uh, fair, fairy stories. Don't, don't concern yourself with those. Out of character, I'm getting so many mixed messages about this. Um, in, ca in character, in character, um, she nods and she just goes, um, "It's more of what I. S it's more of what I saw when I was trying to find her. That's more interesting." What did you see? Uh, our uh, our good friend, Mister Fenris, was um, yes. keeping her underwater. In a box. 
box. It is quite curious. It's not a, it's not um, a practice yeah. I've I'm familiar with. And uh, Mr. Fenders has also been in contact with the with the, the gentleman that uh, gave us a hard time the first night we met. You mentioned him, yes. The well, I mean, I uh, only heard about it. I'd already departed, but I had. I do. Rem I do remember the the tale. You, if and... I might interject quite quite quickly um that man the mr x he we have some reason to believe that he is um affiliated with the and she'll motion to the big black handprint on her shirt a with a dirty shirt oh wait <laughs> mm. yes um yes that's been it uh that that complicates things. I I would assume they they've never been far. Ever since uh, Brisbane became what it is, they've never been far from anywhere. But never in large numbers and never obvious. This, but if if Mister Taylor's people are walking to them, making inroads with them. That is a problem. A severe problem. Quite a problem. The sort of problem that causes wars. Are you prepared to go to war over this assertion? Victoria? I would rather their stain be eliminated altogether. Well, unless you're hiding <laughs> some some cunning strategy that I've not yet heard about, I think we need to fo keep our focus to the home ground. For exactly. The moment. I agree. I just thought it would be prudent to have all of our cards laid out before us. I suppose that means that the Anarchs in the north are a problem for another night. And this will need to be addressed by His Grace in the near future. And he will want to speak to all of you again. Yeah, Astrid, Astrid oh. we also will need to come up with an alternative uh, solution for your situation. As it appears, our allies in the Clan of Death have um flown the coop uh just out of curiosity when i did go um to you know to my, grab a capri sun yeah um <laughs> was was like the mortuary empty was like the one yeah, there no, like they just like it was just gone like the ghouls were gone anything of like remote importance was gone paul was gone the phone okay. was gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the phone had been unplugged yeah um yeah like like they they like they'd left. Like okay. Like you didn't like Leticia hadn't told you anything about it. She, Leticia yeah. had just gone left that night when you're all in yep. the uh, the the new barony and crack then shack. Pardon? No. As of the crack shack. That's what yeah, Victoria yeah, called just, it. Yeah, and just yeah, and, and just when you went to check <laughs> check in on her, it had gone. Well, hopefully my hospital contact is someplace, but I can figure that out another night. Oh yeah, you're, yeah. You, your hospital contacts are still in place. Okay. You know the guy. You could still call them. Okay. Yeah. It's just yeah, like but everything like the like all of like the the resources that Letizia brought to bear are, are gone. Letizia is okay. left with them. 
Um, um, just we need so, to find an yeah. alternative uh, solution for your situation. Maybe, maybe Victoria. <laughs> uh, she'll kind of look over to Victoria. To, me, me, me. Um. Or maybe not. Uh, well, Victoria, like, no. Well, Victoria equivocates. <laughs> She's like, well, maybe not. <laughs> uh, I feel like Astrid says no at the same time. Like, wait, no, wait, clearly wait. they're gonna assign you to Javier. God, no, no. <laughs> Archie, Archie can take it. Uh, well, if if there are no other solutions that can be come to, I can. I have basically. I've already taken her under my wing. So yeah. he's Grace, doing a very good job. His Grace will. I believe, want to reward you if you can f- show the thread linking Mr. Taylor and his Ruha to the Black Hand. If you can show him that, you will be very comfortable. I think, oh, I think well, we can do that. Oh, in that sorry. case, I... <laughs> I wasn't expecting to become a mother tonight, but <sighs> <laughs> I'm just so emotional. Yeah, all right, I'll do it. You just have that that ring in your head from the first night where Javier was like, "Do you think, Ma?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in there. Um, do you very need well. No, <laughs> no, I've already. I meant for We've... your audience with the prince, not for you. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Perhaps that would be best if we all um, got on the same page. She sort of and oh, dealt with. She looks towards the parked, um, shitty gold uh, Datsun with the says, engine running. Yeah, it says you've. <laughs> I see you're not punching up in terms of new cars. <laughs> um, well. She like gestures at it like she gestures at the car like, well, you know, get out or whatever. Just like Oh, so specifically she's looking like at the driver of the car. Well she's just looking towards the car. I think it's far enough away that she can't really focus on you specifically. But I imagine that's how it would look from far away. Yeah. He'll he'll crank the window down a little bit further. She sort of, she sort of just looks sideways wait. at Victoria and she's like, your friend is difficult. Yeah, he is. He's... Javier, get out of the fucking car. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, behind, like behind the sheriff, Victoria's doing like urgent, like, get out of the car. <laughs> like, come on, come on. Yeah, she, she does like the one hand up to block her face and she's like, get over here. Come, young man, get over here right now. <laughs> I love the idea that, that Javier is like before lowering, I use your full name. Javier is lowering the window very slowly, just kind of like peeking out, like it's like I almost picture like a cat about to knock something off the off the bench, and and Victoria's like no, no, and Javier's just like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Well, I mean, I have always joked that he's basically a black cat, so <laughs> uh, so he'll turn off the car. And just kind of, uh, very quietly, just be like, uh, "Wait here, I guess." Yeah. Well, Helen tries to go out, but you've locked the door, so she just kind of. Also, this is a two door, so if she's in the back seat, uh, yeah, she can't I have to it, move no. a seat. <laughs> she like goes to climb over it, but when you're like, just wait here, she just flops back into the seat. The... Uh, I'll make it up to you. <laughs> so as you and leave, he'll get out of the car. Um, he'll leave the window cracked for her. So, <laughs> so as like the four of you are, are finally with the sheriff, the sheriff says, "I think we need yeah. to speak to the prince tonight." Tonight. Tonight. Uh, I don't. My, my clothes. I. I wouldn't worry too much. 
we're gonna drag Archie in there looking like a fucking punk. Yeah. <laughs> we're wow. all in various states of dishevelment, I think, at this point. Well, well you guys. If you if you think that's best, then let's talk to him tonight. It if won't it would be like the first, It won't be like the first time you met him. It will be okay. on a looser terms. I but look, I, Archie looks very nervous. But I expect you to behave the same way as Maria instructed you the first time. Of course. Do you remember? Of uh, course. Best behavior. Okay. Best behavior. No electronics, no zippers, your grace only. <laughs> of your snorts at no zippers. She sighs and is like, the zipper thing is less of an issue as it was. Maria, <laughs> Maria loves to make a mountain from a molehill. Ah. Of oh, yours just snickering. Well, I can take you all in my car. Okay, okay. He looks back yeah. at the other car. Her, like her, her car is like it's like it's long. Like it's it's got like the sort of limo seating in it that you could all kind of get in and like sit and face each other and stuff. Um, and she sort of moves over and opens the door. Because... We're gonna leave the other ones here. No, you're you're all coming. Yeah, he he meant the cars. <laughs> oh. I mean, if you're... Park them inside, lock the doors, it'll be right. If you must. Questionable. Yeah, I guess if they're going to steal one, they ain't going to steal mine. <laughs> you should hope they don't. Astrid, you'll want to fetch uh, your evidence. Yes. Um, I'll be right back. Oh, your tosses are the keys. Thank you. Um, she'll go over to the car. And um, she's going to poke her head in. Hey, um, so we got to get going. We're going to go, uh, we're going to go talk to the prince. The prince? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, I don't really know. It, it'd probably just be easier <laughs> if you just came along. Okay. <laughs> and she, go, she goes with you. And uh, you, I'm assuming you guys use this time to put your cars in the warehouse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'll, I'll let Astrid yeah. do that since yeah. she's got the keys. Also, at some point uh, during all of the downtime, he's definitely gone through like the glove box and the little like middle console and anything to see if he can all find really any scrap of information. Like, all you really found were like scrunched up receipts for like fast food joints, um, a like a roadside kit with a flare in it. Um, but you don't know how Useful. Old, how expired that is because like there's some like weird orange stuff like growing on the inside of the plastic packaging. Um, and I know this because my uncles used to have a flare in their boat, uh, and the, and it was in there for so long that orange stuff grew inside the plastic. So I know that's what it would look like. Um, so yeah. I imagine that Javier has enough car knowledge to know yeah. uh, we should get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and like you know some empty cigarette packets, maybe a cup, like one more. Um, yeah, because he was headed back to the car to get a pack, so yeah. I imagine there was at least one pack in there. Yeah, so yeah, nothing nothing particularly riveting. Um, no personal items or anything? Um, photos, cassette tapes? Um, there's no photos. There might be some cassette tapes of like, that it's like, you know, um, like, late 60s early 70s like not your kind of music like pop um that sort of stuff you probably put it in the well, least... in the tape deck for like a second we're like nope <laughs> well assumed not his music but yeah. <laughs> oh, i don't know yet <laughs> um yeah so yeah and when you get into the sheriff's car it's very sort of plush and it smells nice. It smells like a new car. Um, you can see up ahead in the driver's seat the the really broad, tall um, uh, 
uh, Chinese man uh, who was the sheriff's security is sitting in the driving driver's seat. And the sheriff kind of sits with her back to the the front seat of the car and sort of gestures for the rest of you to feel like the other seats that aren't on either aren't d- directly next to her, so she has the whole whole bench seat to herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think now Javier's bane is definitely propped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how can you get in this car? Yeah, this is very corporate corporate uh corporate car. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's and it's not like it doesn't have like Victoria's flair like no. you know at least her car looks cool, and yeah. this is just you know corpo limo. Yeah. And like so he looks visibly sense. uncomfortable when he's sitting and he's just like doing that thing where he's sitting and got his hands in his lap and his knees together and just like like he's trying to take up as little space as possible but he's probably still hunched. <laughs> I just imagine Victoria's like, la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, finally, finally, after tonight, I needed to sit down for a bit. Um, and Archie just looks uh, very, very nervous. Helen has dried out by this point, so she's not dripping polluted Yarra River water all over the place. Yay. Does she still have my sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, she still and has my jacket. sunglasses and uh, Victoria's jacket on. Um, and the sheriff... So after you drive for a while, and the sheriff doesn't say anything, um, she just sort of looks out the window, and then Javier puts on his headphones. She sort of, All right. she looks to um, to Archie, um, and says, "I spoke." You don't find the sheriff. Pardon. I didn't. Uh, the sheriff, sorry, or yeah, the sheriff does. Helen, I didn't. The sheriff does. Okay, cool, cool. And the sheriff says, "I spoke to Simone last night." Oh yeah, what did she say? She is concerned about you. Not your. She knows you'll. She seems to be convinced you'll make ethical decisions if not sensible decisions, that she was not pleased to hear that you were spending so much time in the new barony. She wanted she wanted me to make sure that you uh, kept away from that A uh, faction of society, our society. Um, she thinks it's important uh, that you keep your attentions focused on our organization. Ah, uh, Archie will nod. And say, um, I, I, okay, I, I will, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I won't go there. Obviously, you can speak to Simone yourself and hear this from her mouth. I wouldn't expect you to believe me. Okay, I, 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 I trust Simone. I, she knows. She's always been good. I, I trust her. She is a valued member of our community. Victoria, these. We, do you intend to remain in Melbourne for the foreseeable future? Um. So far, that is my prerogative. Yes. Do you? Is there? Is there a reason that you are? That you left previous climbs for these ones. Um, Obviously, if it's not share something you'd wish to share, we don't have to share it. It was. Um, I apologies. It's it's 
slightly complicated to explain. Um, it was a totally, totally amicable leaving. Um, Just my side. pastures. For now, yes. The, as I'm sure you're aware, the situation in Brisbane is quite He's certainly turbulent. Uh, greener pastures. Yes. For one, we and have a he... prince rather than a bishop. <laughs> yes. In any official capacity, at least. Um, my sire thought it would be a safer environment for me to... Um, Excel, shall we say. Well, I guess that makes a, a makes your sire a rarity. A sire who <laughs> cares and is uh, willing to put their own needs aside for the sake of their child. He is a wonderful man. Yes. Yes. And... Javier, and she, like, looks right at him, even though he's got his headphones on. Javier? No, what? He'll pull one headphone off. How long can we expect you to stay before you make your way to more equitable climates? I could well, tell I get the oh. feeling that uh, that's not my choice to make, now is it? I'm not keeping you here. No one is. If you seek to... I know you have no love for our organization. And frankly, I don't consider it my job to convince you. But You I said I owed you a debt. Well, yes. But oh, well, let's let's get it straight. You 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 lied about buying a debt of mine. I didn't lie. Victoria has her hands in her head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lie. I just didn't reveal the full uh, breadth of the details to you. I saved you from becoming someone's meal. I'm aware of that. Is that not worth some courtesy? <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't have just been up front with it. I mean, I, I appreciate not you, being... Nah. Considering your situation, which I know precious little about, but considering your situation, you had just had a steak pulled from your chest. You were hungry. Hungry enough to make a spectacle of yourself with a swarm of rats. And I ha- mm-hmm. if I had added to the fact, added to the to that that bubbling stew, if I had added to that stew that you had basically been a co- more complex and expensive form of a takeaway meal, do you think you would have handled it admirably? Who's to say? It's not how it happened. Well, I'm to say, and I say... You would have had, you had enough on your plate. Mm. So you're saying you're doing me a kindness? Yes. I was also doing your companions a kindness. It would be very difficult for them to prepare for a meeting with the prince while also preventing one of their uh, compatriots from tearing off their heads or someone else's head or destroying furniture. I'd like to think that I've been the most level-headed so far. So far? Hey. (laughs) Except maybe Archie. I don't know if there's anything that'd ruffle him. I'm not saying you're... I'm not saying you're you're (laughs) one for violent displays. I just felt that this information should be portioned out piecemeal. And if that's wrong, I I accept my error. I'm not interested in being an enemy to any of you. 
Well, any other bits of piecemeal you've been keeping? Um, no, it seems like you know the whole story. The Sabbat, or I believe at least Anarchs associated with the Sabbat, are attempting to set up something of a blood trade, which is vulgar, but Anarchs are known for moving with the times, I suppose. And that attempt uh, involved the shipment of kindred vitae. Your kindred vitae. And obviously I chose to disrupt this, given that it is a masquerade breach begging to happen. And you ended up in my care. So and how you... did you know that I was on my way here? I didn't know anything about you. I just knew that uh, Mr. Ten, or Mr. X as you've been calling him, he was having, he had a shipment arranged. Uh, I knew where the shipment would be. Uh, and more importantly, I knew who would be informing him about the shipment. And I just made sure that the information didn't reach him in time. Mm, see, that still leaves one thing not answered. What? I'll happily answer if I can. How did you already know what clan I was? Well, there's, and she seems like a little bit reluctant to share this, but then she sort of pushes on. She said, there's, there's paperwork. You're not the only one. And it, you were the only one that I managed to reach in time. So I knew your name and your Plan because that and your social uh, leanings, your attitudes, various things that flavor Vite. I would love a copy of that if you might be able to get that for me. And then we'll call a square. I s well... I don't think I really owe you anything, but I will get you a copy. Just think of it as a, you know, an apology. I mean, you did say it was your error, but well, after that, no hard feelings. I considered this the apology. <laughs> Victoria's visibly <laughs> cringing. <laughs> Alice is... Uh... I don't know why I said Alice. <laughs> Astrid is just like she's just really focusing on Helen right now. Like, oh hey, what are you looking at? Uh. Look, he is actively being banned right now, so he is the yeah. social grace yeah. of like garbage. <laughs> but yeah, the the sheriff says Regardless of what social footing this puts us on, I will I will bring it to you as a as a a show of good faith, but what I'm really asking of you and what I think would really make us square, as you put it, is if you were to put your independent leanings aside for the duration of our crisis here. Can you do that? For this, not if not for my own personal, uh, my own, an, a, a thank you to me or a favor to me, but for your compatriots who have no choice. Well, considering the way here took a lot of effort in the first place, I don't feel like I've quite got the connections to be. Leaving anytime soon. 
Not to mention I'm here for a reason. Yeah. That I don't know. If you're trying to find out your reason, I don't have it for you, I'm afraid. Oh no, I'm... I, I know my reason. Well, that's... You know, thank heaven for small mercies, as they say. But you, you are all foot soldiers. Now. Uh, as soon as we speak to the prince, that's what this is going to become. Provided your evidence Archie. is... Oh, dear, what does Archie do? Oh, I was going to say... I was going to say Archie just cringes a little bit at being called a foot soldier. Well, I got personal beef with this ten guy anyways. Hmm. So, yeah, enemy of my enemy. Oh. Well, let's... Let's keep the enemy talk between us. Uh, and not share it with his grace, if that's all the same. Oh, I don't plan on doing any of the talking. He just kind of looks at Victoria's way. Or I imagine she's actively cringing. <laughs> she's like sunk down into her seat a little like, oh, I'm not associated with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so after that conversation, a little bit of travel, you arrive at um, not the hotel where you met the prince the first time. You kind, It's kind of like you just sort of stop on a regular street in the city like it's not a particularly busy one it's lit up well enough um and you're kind of a, you know you you're you know instructed to get out of the car the um the driver gets out and opens the door for you um and you kind of just find yourself standing on a sidewalk in the middle of the city um and the sheriff after a moment gets out just as for you to follow and she leads you down a very narrow side street that probably could barely fit like a regular car without like scraping the mirrors like wide enough for you to walk down no problem but you can see why they parked the car on the main street um and at the very end of it is a wooden door with two like baroque lighting fixtures on either side of it um, and there's like a warm light coming from the upstairs windows and you, uh, she knocks on the door and waits a moment and then knocks again and a very old man in like, like antiquated, like, you know, butler kind of regalia you know like the sort of thing you'd see on like even when you see it on Downton Abbey they're like oh that's old fashioned like that like that kind of stuff and he he looks like he could easily be in his late 80s and he Alfred ass <laughs> yeah Archie says Alfred ass <laughs> I don't he does, also yeah. I imagine Javier had to leave his Walkman in the car. Yes, absolutely. He um, took the tape, but he yeah. he left the Walkman. And he kind of looks at all of you, but for a moment he particularly looks at Astrid, Helen, and Victoria, and he sighs deeply, like. <sighs> and the sheriff kind of smirks at him, and says, "You know why we're here. Get out of the way." And he he sort of shuffles to the side and continues to like snort like derisively as the three women pass him. Um and the oh. sheriff, and the sheriff uh, <laughs> do you say that out loud? <laughs> he that... he doesn't say it out loud, but he yeah. was probably gonna mean mug this guy on the way in. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um um, yeah, and you're led, you're led upstairs, um, and there is just a, like a, like a ornate pair of double doors that, uh, that, um, the sheriff kind of gets in front of and pushes open, and they both swing open to reveal a long 
carpeted room with like baroque oil paintings like covering almost every space on the wall i don't know if you've ever seen like what galleries look like in like uh grand like english homes where they just kind of like stuck in like they're not like you know measured there's just like like a small one in that corner and then a big one and then the gap that it leaves is like an oblong one is fit into that just like paintings mm -hmm. so many paintings just like dozens painting of mosaic them. yeah and um the prince who's dressed in clothes you'd have to say from like not even like the last century like this is you know this is all he's he's it's like he's cosplaying like at a ren fair or something um <laughs> not, the, not that any of you would know what that is because we didn't have them out here and <laughs> i still don't think we have no them. um so yeah i think i've seen one at the very least oh la di da let's see i wonder if if javier's been party to one <laughs> Or at least, like, he's been to probably a convention. Nerd. Nerds. <laughs> well, none of y'all know that. <laughs> yeah. Secret nerd. <laughs> Ar Archie might have an idea. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Look at this dweeb hanging out with us. <laughs> <laughs> and as you step in, um... Um... You you get like you know you get like you're halfway in and the do when the doors close behind you, um, there's a man standing there and he's dressed in, again he's dressed in in like period inaccurate clothing as well, but not the same period as the as the others. <laughs> yeah. Um, delightful. Yeah. Uh, but so like you know they're all dressed strange or just different kinds of strange, and it's his it's his suit is like velvet uh like a green velvet with like a brocade sort of on it and he he sort of he looks at all of you and then he he sort of he sees helen and he says i've been waiting for you and then that's where our story ends for this week mm, don't like that. <laughs> i can only imagine Victoria and Javier are doing their commonly used eye communication of <laughs> it's the green man. <laughs> it's the green man. <laughs> it is, it's the green man. Which also green. <laughs> I I will probably also uh mention that after mean mugging the guy who snorted at the ladies, <laughs> Javier probably also did that whole put himself bodily like, like he he's been playing bodyguard for Victoria a lot tonight, so <laughs> just does the same thing. But bodyguard for Victoria against Victoria. Yeah, <laughs> no yeah. One, no one threatens Victoria. Victoria threatens herself constantly. Tonight's just been off. Look, fellas, what can I say? He's been doing that kind of bodyguarding too. Almost he's been two he's been with and almost murdered a guy. <laughs> And who's been there to clean up every single mess? It's just an off night, I swear. She'll bounce back. Hey, I just want to point out, it was Asher's idea to put the body in the box. <laughs> That's true. It's a very good idea. Well, then at least Aster cleans up her own messes. Yeah. That's true, yeah. I'm just waiting for like the after we do all of this and you finally go back to your havens and Victoria like opens the door and sees like all the smash stuff. Sees like, the mess again. And she's like, oh right. I forgot. Oh fuck. Yeah. yeah that's damn. That's how I feel well, every time I walk into my room and again. <laughs> really? her clean up things and if there was broken furniture, it's suddenly by the curb. Oh well yeah. <laughs> Like you have a, you have it's a just really door. barren. <laughs> you have a Tory yeah. housekeeper to look after. Things. Yeah, it's, it's fine. We said she was redecorating. Yeah, you, you look at the space where the furniture. table was, and it's just like uh, the sound of silence starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he might actually have that on one of his tapes. <laughs> we'll have a we'll have a wake for the table. It'll be fine. He comes back and there's like two cinder blocks and <laughs> some oh. plywood. Oh. 
Mm. <laughs> or it's just one of those like I mean, spools turned on if, its side. If you want the table to live on, we could just make steaks out of it. That's true. Oh. That's true. There's a poster of like Einstein on the wall because it's like a it's like a college dorm now. <laughs> <Instead> <laughs> Ah, no, no, no. What we'll do is we'll. In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. We'll get with the, that little like spool. We'll 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 grab the spool from like the the warehouse or something, and we'll put a really nice tablecloth over it. No one will know. <laughs> nah, just steal one of the tables from this fancy gentleman's club. That'll yes. work. Yeah. That'll get back at them. <laughs> They'll never notice. <laughs> yeah. No. Imagine I'll be like, actually, I need to, I need to use the bathroom. What do you mean yeah. you need to use the bathroom? <laughs> and they're like, it's don't a, worry yeah, it's, it's about a vampire it. club. We don't have those. <laughs> it's like you have to, otherwise they you wouldn't pass vampire. health code inspections. <laughs> so right. They could just mesmerize the health inspector. Be like, you don't need to see our toilet. And it's like, I don't need to see your toilet. And he leaves. And that's it. <laughs> You There's more to bathrooms than wash. toilets. What, do these Cretans not wash their hands? No. No. <laughs> They're old rich people. Of course they yeah. don't. Diseases happen to poor people. They yeah. don't They don't like mirrors, I guess. Like, what happens if you get a little red on you, you and don't. you gotta go, like, rinse it off? Um, Surely oh. the ceiling has been mirrored. So, as much, as much as I would like to hang out, <laughs> and do something early in the morning, so I should probably go to sleep. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll also end the stream. So goodbye, okay. stream. Bye bye. Bye bye. Look, bye bye.